This video outlines in short, how to create corrective measures. How member states concerned, or MSCs, consult each other on corrective measures, before applying them, and how to request the sponsor's opinion in the context of a corrective measure. And last, how to cancel a draft corrective measure. In the authority workspace, in the page of a clinical trial for which a decision has been made, you will be able to create corrective measures on that trial, by clicking on the respective sub-tab. In this sub-tab, you will have a list of the corrective measures, related to this clinical trial. In the table, you can view details of the corrective measures, such as the corrective measure ID, or the MSC that created them. You can create a new corrective measure by clicking on the new button. In the pop-up form, you will need to provide all the mandatory details, concerning the corrective measure. The fields with an asterisk next to them, are mandatory to be filled in. First, you will need to select the type of corrective measure. This may be to suspend the trial, to revoke its application authorization, to require a modification, or to suspend its application authorization and require modification. If you select Require Modification, or Suspend and Require Modification, the field Proposed Due Date will appear. You will have to select the reason why you create the corrective measure, by selecting it from a drop-down list. The value Unexpected Event will appear in the drop-down list, if the sponsor submits an unexpected event. If you select the unexpected event as the reason for this corrective measure, a field will appear. It will allow you to link the corrective measure to the respective unexpected event, logged by the sponsor. You need to click on the Add button, and select the unexpected event from the list, using the tick in boxes on the left side. Then, click on the Link button, to proceed with the other details of the corrective measure. It is mandatory to provide a justification of the corrective measure, either in writing, in the respective field, or by attaching a document. Scroll down to see the remaining fields. Select if immediate action is required, by choosing the appropriate value from the drop-down. By default, in the immediate action field, the value no is selected. If no immediate action is required, below, the fields to add supporting documentation are displayed. Scroll down, to view the other fields of the form. Before applying the corrective measure, you can consult with the other MSCs. In order to do that, you need first to save the draft corrective measure. The fields for consultation are enabled. You have to provide the reason for the consultation, and by using the Add Document button, you can upload related documents. You can use the calendar below, to define the deadline by which you want to receive responses. Below, click on the button Submit Request for Consultation. This section will not submit the corrective measure, it will submit consultation with the other MSCs, as indicated by the green message that appears on the upper right corner. The submission date of the request for MSC consultation, appears. After submitting the consultation, MSCs will receive an alert, through which they will be able to access the consultation form, and respond to it. Back to the corrective measure form. Go to the Sponsor's Opinion Request area. If no immediate action is required, you shall request the Sponsor's Opinion on the corrective measure. Click on the Add button, to expand the area for the Sponsor's Opinion Request. You need to type your question in the respective field. Use the button, Add Question, if you need to include more questions, in your request for Sponsor Opinion. Use the button, Add Document, if you need to add supporting documents. After filling in the details of the request, click on the button Submit Request for Opinion. The sponsor has 7 days to respond. Please note that in case immediate action is needed, the sponsor's opinion subsection and the fields for supporting documentation are deactivated. Back to the corrective measure form, in case you have not finished filling out the form, you can save it and close it, to create a draft corrective measure. The draft will be listed in the overview of the corrective measures, and you will be able to work on it later. 
The submission of the corrective measures will be explained in the following video of this module. You can view the details of both corrective measures, regardless they have been submitted or not, by clicking on the eye icon. You can cancel a corrective measure that is still in draft. Click on the pencil icon to edit the corrective measure. If you have submitted a sponsor opinion request, or an MSC consultation request, the cancel button is deactivated. To activate the button, you need first to change the type of the corrective measure. On the top of the form, in the type field, select the no further action needed. Below, the cancel corrective measure button is enabled. Before using it, you need to type the justification for changing the type, in the respective field, in the end of the form. Then, cancel the corrective measure, using the respective button. In the list, you can only view the corrective measure. After cancelling it, you cannot edit it anymore. The pencil icon has disappeared. Edit the other corrective measure of the list. For this one, no sponsor opinion request, or MSC consultation request, has been submitted. The button cancel corrective measure is enabled, and can be used, without changing the type of the corrective measure. Click on it. The corrective measure is deleted and cannot be seen in the list. This video is part of the CTIS training program. For more information on how to create or cancel a corrective measure, and how to request MSC consultation or sponsor opinion, you may visit our training platform and our additional materials.